Now, PCCA is taking mixing to a whole new level. In the beginning, a rock bowl with a rock pestle was the method of choice for mixing powders. Refinements came, but the technology remained the same. There have been advancements, V-blenders, tumble blenders, ribbon blenders, shakers, and who can forget the magic bullet? But what if I told you, by harnessing the power of resonance and g-force, we could take a giant leap forward in the evolution of mixing technology? First of all, it uses low frequency sound combined with high g-forces to initiate significant random motion of every particle contained within the container that's mounted on the platform. So, so what does that do? What it gives you is extremely fast mixing times, typically in the two to three minute range for most active pharmaceutical ingredients, with no need for the operator to be involved in that mixing process. Secondly, it gives you exceptional content uniformity with relative standard deviations less than 4%. In fact, usually far less than 4%, which is the FDA line of acceptability. And this is demonstrated over a broad range of APIs. Thirdly, guys, this is so easy to use. Now, in the example I'm about to show you, we used different colored pellets and a high-speed camera to show the random motion created by the PCCA RAM. Now granted, this is happening in seconds. Notice how quickly the, all the particles within the container that's mounted on top of that platform begins to move. We took a known, very tough thing to mix. We took a T3 15 microgram capsule formulation. And that's what we mixed in these processes. We then took samples from three different parts of the powder that was mixed and did potency testing. And our mission was to look at what's called content uniformity. How uniform is that powder distributed throughout the blend? And when you're dealing with very, very low concentrations, you guys know this, it's harder to do. So if you look at the table here on the left, you have the PCCA RAM results with the T3. The three results are all in spec, average 96.7 with a relative standard deviation of 1.8. That's very good, very uniform. The magic bullet, had pretty good uniformity, but everything was below spec, probably due to the heat that was generated. 86.9, 88, 87.3, so that would have been a failure. Mortar and pestle actually had one of the, one of the samples fail out of spec, 87.6, 94, 91.5. By the way, this is a very experienced uh, uh, technician that was doing this mixing. I made sure that she was very diligent in what she was doing. Average 91.5, relative standard deviation 3.54, so a broader range of, of content uniformity. The V blender, uh, again, had one that was out of spec at 87.6, average 89.9, so that would have failed at an RSD of 2.56. Very, very impressive uh, results. Each method presented with some issues, but the RAM had some beautiful uh, results with a very low RSD. What an incredible device.